Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour Forger and in this beginner's guide tutorial I'm going to show you something really cool that is now much easier to do than it was before and that is play yours and other people's game master scenarios on your remote community server um, really easily. So the idea behind this is, is is that you can set up scenarios in Game Master. So that might be a that might be a mission, might be a co-op mission, it might be um, it might be PvP, um, it might be PVE. However you want to do it, you can set that up easily in Game Master, and you can then load that scenario on your remote server so that you can play play it with friends. But also you can load other people's as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You used to be able to do it before, but it was quite complicated. Now it's really really easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into Game Master first and just show, I'm going to show you the basics of creating a simple scenario and then how you can upload it to the workshop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to download somebody else's Game Master scenario and then we're going to jump onto my remote Nitrado uh, Armour of Forger community server and then I'm going to show you how to load those things up. So if we go to Scenarios and then we go down to Game Master and we'll just restart a session. You don't really, you don't want to host it. You just want to uh, just have a, have a session on your um, local computer. I haven't had a chance to test this on Xbox yet. I guess it probably won't work on PlayStation because they don't have mods. But if someone does and you get it working, or if there's any intricacies we need to know about, could you please tell me in the comment section down below, and then I'll pin, I'll pin it. So here we go. So we're in Game Master. So let's go up to the airfield here, and then. Let's come out of there. So here we are. Right, okay. So we're going to do a simple mission where players spawn in over here and then they've got to kill the Russians down there. How about that? That sounds fairly easy, doesn't it? So edit scenario properties. The playable factions are going to be Americans. So save that. So what we want to do now is go into the um, browser and then we want to find the spawn thing. And remember that a spawn thing could be a HQ, it just could be a spawn point. Um, in fact, let's just put a spawn point in there. Let's put in a arsenal there. And then let's go over here. And let's go into the entity browser again. Let's find a load of Russians. Here we go. They can go there. So what's going to happen? is when players join the server um, they're going to spawn in here they can grab some stuff and then they can go and the mission is to go and kill the people down here now you're going to be telling them this because game master literally is like you're playing a like an rpg game at tabletop at home where someone's got to be in charge of the overall thing that's happening and that's the game master so when you log into your server you'll know the admin um, password so that gives you game master right so everybody else will be spawning in as soldiers kind of like this so they'll all spawn in like this there we go there we go so here we are so there we go there's the arsenal box there we go so we could equip some different weapons and then we could head head off down there but as the game master you can jump into game master and you could they could say well, i'll tell you what lads um we don't really want to go on foot do we um let's spawn in you know a, a humvee for us to use or it could be i tell you what that was that was a bit easy um, I'm going to spawn in some more enemies, or I'm going to give you another objective down here. That's the beauty of Game Master. Um, in Armour 3, I think in Armour 2, we would call it Zeus. You know, your Zeus. You, you have the godlike powers, you know, to, you know, to, to, you know, to do things like... Um, <laughs> do things like that. It's, it's an awful lot of fun. And you can spend a lot of time setting up scenarios just using Game Master. But we can also load them. So we've got this, all right? So now what we can do is we can save this uh, let's just say that was good and now let's uh, save as so let's call this uh, example three okay and let's save that so we've now saved that which is all good to go and now what we could do is when we're happy with everything we've done um, we say make sure you, you save it so it's saved to your local pc and then we can upload it to the workshop and so give it a good name a description of what it's all about um so that people know and then you've got your dependencies whether you want to turn them on or, or turn them off um and then you can upload it now i think you do have to log in with your bohemian interactive account so if you've got one of those you might have to have to set it up uh, but that will then upload it to 
the uh, the cloud so how cool is that so let's just come out of here now and let me show you something I've done as well so now if we go into the workshop and we go into game saves this can take a while to load you sh if you sh I've just sorted it via recently added and there's my heli practice one so he can see that so the idea of this is I've created a game master save a load of helicopters in and there's some targets that you can fire rockets at for practice so I've kind of put that and you get if it's your own mod if it's sorry if it's your own save you get an error so I've uploaded it to the workshop but it says we well, can't download it I guess it's because I've already got it on my computer because it's mine but what we can do as well is if we want to play somebody else's let's find somebody else's thing uh, now ideally for this case we just want something that doesn't have um, dust in test mission let's see what this is doesn't have any dependencies okay so that does have a dependency so we don't want that one uh, let's have a look want something nice and simple there's, there's lots of tests one of the big challenges about this dependency oh gosh that's got loads of dependencies well is obviously trying to figure out what the good stuff is um, 97 dependencies okay one little bit of advice out there to people who are making game master scenarios and or um oh this looks Ireland circuit i'm not set up for Ireland. downhill dash what's this dependencies that's game master okay actually i've downloaded something like this before so this is a like a racing uh set scenario which is pretty cool isn't it so what we can do is we can download that and then what we want to do is if you want to play it on your remote server you want to di dive into game master like this straight away because you want to save a copy of it on your local pc like a version of it so here we go right so there we go so you've got all of this um what we can do sometimes you they don't have enable respawn yes okay save and close sometimes they're not always completely finished these things like this one the respawn is there so which is a bit odd but let's delete that and let's see okay if this if this is like the other one the finish is up here there we go. Let's have a look. Nope. So that's not where it was. Let's have a look. Let's follow it. So it starts here, goes up here, up here. Oh, I've lost it. Is that it? All right. Okay. So that's it. That that's where it comes from. So is that a spawn point? Okay. So that is a spawn point. So that's good. So let's just check that respawn menu. So we can respawn in as a civilian. And that's going to spawn us by all these cars. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. So let's go back to game master. And then what we want to do is just say, okay, that's what we want to do. And we want to save as. So we save as. We could call this downhill dash two. Okay. And we could save that. Okay, so we've saved that on our local computer. Now, all we've got to do now is make sure that our server is running the game master version. Um, with the sort of map that we want to, to run on and if there was mods as well you'd want to have those mods uh, involved but as you can see so we set up for game master ever on and that's it so you know normally you would go into the config uh, profiles and you would you put in scenario ids and all that sort of stuff well, we don't have to do that because all we're going to do is we're going to come out of here there we go bup, bup, bup. and then we're going to get onto our server so multiplayer so 
it's obviously it's one of my favorites so scale speeders test reforge your server um, put in the password in we go I've got where am I on there but you, you don't need to have that and it's gonna load up just with I think it, it'll either be vanilla um, game master or if I've if, or if I have been doing a scenario before it may well have that scenario on okay so you often get this so it says well there's no game master so you log in as the game master so you go press forward slash and then hash login and then with your password and now I am now game master so when I press escape I can go into game master so here we go so we're in game master and then all you do now is you click on load and you'll see what we have here is all of the saved um, game master scenarios on our PC and there's that downhill dash one so we can say okay uh, downhill dash load some rod required load load anyway yeah okay we want that and what you should see now this can take a couple of minutes sometimes depending on what's going on So one of the things you probably that I was going to say is about when you create scenarios, I think often less is more when it comes to mods. Use the least number of mods that you can. So here we go. So I'm Game Master, so I spawn in you know, with the view of a Game Master. But as your buddies are joining uh, the server, um, they would... Ooh, let's do that one. Here we go. Actually, this is a different uh, scenario, isn't it? There we go. So this is this one. How cool is that? So we can have this rally. Now, let's see if we go back to Game Master. We can load up. Uh, where's my other one? Let's have a look. Everyone heli practice there we go press enter there we go I think I pressed enter on the wrong one didn't I they really have to work on their UI I think for armor of forger because you click on something and you think it would load and it doesn't which is what happened there so now we're, we're now we're loading up another scenario to play and what's really cool about this is we're doing everything from within game master on our server we're not having to go into the server configs and put in different uh, scenario IDs which is really good so we we're in on this one, so we should be able to press M. We should be able to go up here. And what we should see over here is not very much. <laughs> Except I haven't loaded it in. There we go. Let's load. Let's do that again. Game Master. Everyone Game Master Heli Practice. Load file. Yes, please. Let's do it again. See if it works this time. Be a bit, bit embarrassed if it doesn't. Move them, camera. There we go. So there we go. So now we've loaded up, loaded up this scenario. So as you can see, with this one, when players spawn in, they're going to spawn in there. They get, they can play with helicopters, um, and I've got various targets around to do that way. So how cool is this? The fact that we can easily create scenarios within Game Master, single player scenarios, multiplayer scenarios, PVE, PVP, uh, co-op, that sort of stuff. Um, we can save them to the workshop so other people's can people can have a go We can also then load into our own remote community server And the reason why you use a remote community server is because your buddies can join that server easily it Means you don't have to do a load of port forwarding and don't do things to your router on your home PC and then you can play uh, Play like this now the, the the reason why this is also so cool is that you could say well Yeah, but can't you just create single-player scenarios 
using the modding tools for Armour Forger. You can, but that's a lot more complicated than doing it in Game Master. Now, Game Master doesn't give you a, like a, I guess you would call it like a package that someone could just download and play because you've got to do things like this. You've got to load it up and someone has to be the game master. You know, they're the ones with the rules that load in the scenario and then you can play as a normal person, but then you can jump out and do game master stuff as well. It's not like um, a, a sing single player scenario, like the new one that we've got now. Um, is it Elimination or something like that? So it's not as good as that, but maybe they'll bring that one day to um, Game Master so that you'll be able to export it as a single player or a co-op scenario, which is there, which is then loadable um, and a and a playable entity in and of itself. But hopefully, this has sprung some ideas. Um, the only thing that might be a little bit dodgy and needs probably a little bit testing is loading mods as well. So you probably find that if you've got a game master setup that has got loads of mods on, you'll then have to load those up to your uh, server separately as well. And that's when you will have to go into the configs for the server and get the uh, game master scenario to load with all those other mods before you jump in. So there we go. Hopefully you found these useful. If you have it, like, you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.